It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we're going to learn how to create a 3JS camera that rotates over time based on mouse position. The built-in 3JS cameras do not provide the option to rotate the camera without clicking based on the mouse's position in the browser window. Without having to click, interaction becomes more streamlined. It reduces a mental and physical task from connecting to the software. The rotation occurs over time, easing the camera to its new rotation. This gradual change may be considered smoother and more natural compared to immediately tracking the mouse. We will need a package manager to download third-party libraries like 3JS. I'll be using Node Package Manager, or NPM. We'll also need a way to locally run our website. I will be using the tools Node.js and Express.js to set this up. I have another video that walks through this setup linked below. To keep this demonstration simple, we won't be using a bundler like Webpack. Bundling is important for performance and security when your project is to be run publicly. I have another video linked below with more details about setting up the Webpack bundler and the benefits that come with it. We'll also need the 3JS library. 3JS is a useful library for rendering and navigating three-dimensional websites. We'll also need a 3D model for our scene. I will be using the model Sitting Room with Baked Textures by Jim Bogies on Sketchfab. To begin, first copy the source code for this project from the GitHub link down in the description. Next, download the 3D model from Sketchfab. Select GLTF and extract the folder to the public models directory of your project. Now, it's time to install the dependencies for this project. With NPM, you can open a terminal window, navigate to the directory with the package.json, and type the following command, npm install. The dependencies for Express.js and 3.js are labeled in the package.json. A package manager will see this and set up the libraries locally. Let's review the basics of the code. In main.js, we see the app sets up a scene with a model and a camera, and it keeps track of the mouse's normalized position. The scene is a 3D environment using the 3.js library. A camera is created with the custom method perspective camera for resizable window. This creates a perspective camera, one of the built-in camera types in 3.js. It then adjusts some settings so that when the browser window resizes, the camera will as well. Without this, you may get white borders when the window is resized. This file, camera with mouse rotation, will have a few more methods for our custom camera, like handle mouse movement and handle camera rotation. We'll look at these more soon. A 3D model is loaded. The model helper file is set up to change the rotation and position for the specific model being used for this walkthrough. These settings may be tweaked and changed for your specific model if you choose to use something different. A light is added to the scene, then a grid is added as well. Grids are helpful when trying to position objects. The on mouse move function is set up and called whenever the mouse moves in the browser window. The mouse.x and mouse.y calculations determine the normalized value of the mouse's position depending on where it is in the browser window. What normalized basically means is the leftmost part of the browser is negative one for x, and the rightmost is positive one, and the top is positive one for y, and the bottom is negative one for y. This is called normalized device coordinates. These values will be useful when we want to determine how much to rotate the camera. We add the event listener to the document or page, and that will make sure on mouse move is called when the mouse moves. The animate function is set up as well. Everything in this function occurs every single frame, which should be multiple times per second. That's why it's important to run the render function. Changes to models, cameras, lights, or anything in the scene will not visually show until the scene is rendered again. Now that the app has set up our scene with a camera and is keeping track of the mouse's position, we can adjust how the camera behaves. To make the camera rotate over time, we will need to keep track of a lot of values like rotation, time since the last mouse movement, and more. This is where the camera orientation state.js class comes in. This class holds values to be referenced and updated over time while the camera rotates. Pitch and yaw are terms that describe rotating around the X and Y axes. Pitch occurs as we see it rotate up and down, rotating around the X axis. Yaw occurs as we see it rotate left and right, rotating around the Y axis. This dot pitch angle and this dot yaw angle refer to the target pitch and yaw angles for the camera. 
based on the mouse's current position. This is where the camera should rotate to. Since the rotation will occur over time, we need to capture the starting pitch and yaw rotations when the mouse is moved. The starting pitch angle for current coordinates and starting yaw angle for current coordinates will hold this information. If the mouse moves in the middle of rotating the camera, we will need to update the starting pitch and yaw angles based on the camera's last known rotation. To do this, we will need to keep track of the camera's previous pitch and yaw angles. I know, lots of angles. Last mouse move time keeps track of the last time the mouse has moved. If the mouse keeps moving, we may need to restart the duration towards the camera's new destination rotation. Movement duration sets the maximum time the camera can rotate to its new position without a mouse movement interrupting it. In main.js, we create a variable using this camera orientation state class. When the mouse moves, on mouse move is called, and the camera's orientation state, along with the current mouse coordinates, are passed to the handle mouse movement method. The handle mouse movement method is in the file camera with mouse rotation.js, where we got that custom perspective camera. This method creates a constant named now, which represents the current time when the mouse was moved. Last mouse move time is set to now, when a new mouse movement occurs. A rotation scale variable is also set. This limits how far the camera will rotate. This value can be tweaked to your personal preference. The new pitch and yaw angles are set to the orientation state object. These are the angles the camera should have to align with the mouse's current position. The calculation for this multiplies the mouse's x or y coordinates by the rotation scale. Then, it negates this value using the minus sign. What this negation does is it stops the controls from being inverted. Moving the mouse to the top of the browser would normally result in the camera looking down at the floor. This negation stops that, and moving the mouse up points the camera towards the ceiling. Then, the result is multiplied by pi. Multiplying by pi converts the result to radians, which is useful when working with angles. Those are all the necessary updates immediately when the mouse moves. In main.js, the animate function will occur shortly after the mouse has moved. This function calls handle camera rotation and passes the camera as well as the camera orientation state. Updated with the new position, handle camera rotation can be found in camera with mouse rotation.js. And handle camera rotation does just that, handles the process of rotating the camera incrementally over time. Again, we set up a variable called now, which is set to the current time. We set the time elapsed variable to the current time minus the time of the last mouse movement. We then perform a conditional check. If the time since the last mouse movement is less than the maximum movement duration set in the camera's orientation state, we can continue processing the camera rotation. Then we calculate the percentage of time we have left to complete the rotation. Here, we also set up a variable called minimum degree of change. This value will be used to make sure the camera begins with a smooth rotation instead of jerking directly into a faster pace. Following that, we set up something called the interpolation factor. This is either the percentage of time left or the minimum degree of change. This value affects the perceived speed of the camera's rotation. Having the minimum degree of change present will make sure the camera is always moving a little bit when it has not yet reached a new target rotation. When the time left percentage is higher than the minimum degree of change, the speed of the rotation may become faster. Next, we determine the new angle for the camera's pitch and yaw. I find it helpful to look at these statements in two parts, the change in the source angle and the change in the destination angle. The interpolation factor starts closer to zero, therefore, our starting angles are largely unaffected. As the interpolation factor approaches 1, the value gets smaller and smaller until eventually 1 minus 1 equals 0. And then we multiply our starting coordinate value by 0 and get 0. When the interpolation factor reaches 1, that means the timer is complete. Our rotation should no longer be directly at the starting point, rather, it should be at the destination. We can see this in effect on the right side. The interpolation factor starts closer to zero, so the result will also be almost zero. As the interpolation factor approaches one, the resulting value gets larger and larger until one times the destination coordinate is the destination coordinate entirely. Now, looking at both sides added together, as we approach one, the starting angle has less effect on our current position. 
and the destinations effect continues to grow until it is all there is. After these calculations, we set the camera's rotation to the resulting values, and we must also update our previous angles to reflect the newly calculated angles. And finally, back in main.js, the animate function will re-render the scene. This takes our calculated rotations we provide it to the camera object and updates the browser to display those changes. Now we can test this out. In a terminal window, navigate to the project's directory. Run the following command, node app.js. Open a browser and go to localhost colon 3000. Now move your mouse around the window. Look at that. Together, we have set up a custom 3JS camera that rotates over time based on the mouse's position. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.